Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price because uh, right now we are seeing already some of the altcoins, especially here Bancor, already starting to pump again. So let's see if we're gonna see a continuation also on the Bitcoin price or not. Currently I'm still a bit more bullish than bearish because currently we are bouncing from a very important support area. And it also looks like that in my own indicator I gonna get very soon a buy signal so we might have another chance here to go long and possibly ride it up towards this $12,500 resistance. But this is what we're gonna have to see in the bigger time frames. Let's start here first with the lower time frames because as you can see, we are still struggling to break through here the 20 moving average and also the 200 moving average in the one hour time frame. We also have currently the RSI trading below the 50 level, which is a bearish sign. And in theory, we should be squeezing here between 11,750 and here the support of $11,600 before we're gonna see a potential break got to the upside but also there is a high chance that we could break down here to the downside and have the bearish scenario where we're going next towards 10k but currently we're still holding the support so nothing is lost here we still have a very high chance that we could have another bounce and another leg up here towards $12,500. So let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band because currently we are trading in the upper area and we have the resistance up here at 11,800. So as soon as we're gonna close an hour candle above 11,800, I think this could initiate another pump towards 12,000 to $12,500 if you want to take this long opportunity. But there is also a high chance that we're gonna stay in this region here between 11,800 and down here at $11,600 for the next couple of hours before we're going to push higher. Also, as you can see here, the stochastic is already getting in overbought condition and MACD is still flat. So also here we are waiting for an important one hourly close above $11,800 or below $11,600 to see potentially where we could be heading in the next couple of hours. This is just the one hour time frame. The lower time frames are not so significant, but at least we will see where we could be heading into next in the next couple of hours. And also if you feel that you want to open up a long position then maybe wait till the one hour is getting to oversold condition and then start to scale in longs as long as we are also keeping up with our support here of $11,600. So let's switch over into the four hour because here we are still a bit bearish. We are trading below the 50 and 20 moving average and the RSI is below the 50 level. If I'm getting here a buy signal, I mean, we are not completely in oversold condition, but if I'm getting here a buy signal, I will take this chance to open up a long position because in that case, we could see potentially another four hour close above the 50 and 20 moving average, which currently are at 11,850 and then have another leg up towards 12,550 so there is a high chance that we're gonna see another leg to the upside pretty soon even though the four hour is still looking bearish so in case that we're gonna close a one hour or four hour candle below $11,600 then this is a warning sign and this could initiate a potential drop towards 10k and lower even though I think at $10,500 we will have some initial support and possibly also bounce again to the upside and retest the new resistance but the final target would be down towards 10k also to close the CME gap at $9,600 dollar and if we switch over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour here you can see that we're still trading below this moving average which is currently at 11,770 if we are able to push through here the next resistance would be up here at 11,970 and if we are able to close a four hour candle again above here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band then the way is free to go towards $12,500 this would be my target in case of another big push to the upside because this is also coinciding here with the main resistance that we are having here in this possible bearish pattern here this rising wedge that we could form here if we continue to trade like this and uh, although you can see that currently stochastic was oversold so right now we are bouncing again from it MACD is still flat so although here it looks like that after this retracement back to the bottom we could see another leg to the upside potentially so as long as we're staying within this rising wedge and we're not seeing a breakout we can possibly 
trade here these uh, bounces here to the upside and also these dumps when we are getting rejected here from the resistance but as soon as we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside or downside 70 percent to the downside then make sure that you're gonna trade this so if you open up along here make sure to use a stop loss because if we are dropping below here you should get out of your long position because here uh, it could be a big waterfall towards 10,500 even down to 9,600 where the CME gap is lining up and now let's have a look also in the daily time frame because the daily is still looking good even though I got here another sell signal but as long as we're keeping up with a 20 daily moving average, as long as we're not closing below $11,500, everything is good and we should be shifted to the upside here along this potential rising wedge. RSI also cooled off here towards the 50 level. We are still trading in on the bullish side. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're squeezing between these two moving averages. So it's gonna depend if we are able to close above 11,860 today, that we should be good to go towards 12,500. If we're gonna close today below 11,700, then this could initiate the potential bigger dip towards uh, 11,100 and then possibly also $10,500. Also, as you can see, the stochastic is shifted to the downside, but could get here in oversold condition if we're going to start to trade sideways here or even continue to dump here a bit. MACD had a bearish cross here, so also here in theory, we could see some more pressure to the downside. Only if we're really able to close a daily candle above 11,860, I think this could be a signal that we will go way higher towards 13, 14,000 before maybe we're going to see a major correction. My bullish target of 16 thousand is still in the cards as long as we are still shifted to the upside if we're gonna lose here significant supports like the 20 daily then I think 16,000 is denied for now and we're gonna see first the bigger correction towards 10k and lower possibly even 9k and then continue the push to the upside to test and break also the old all-time highs of 20k so I think that within this year we're gonna see this retest and possibly also break 20k but the question is only when we will see a major correction towards these targets down here. And even the 200 daily moving average, which currently is at $9,000, is also a potential retest target if you're gonna have a drop down to those levels. Because the 20 weekly is somewhere here at around $9,700, where also the CME gap is lining up, and the 200 is a bit below here towards 9,000. So it is also possible that we're just going down to retest the 200 daily moving average. We can also have a look here into the CME chart. Here the 200 is currently at 8,750. So if we're gonna have a major dump here, I'm watching here at the CME chart where the 200 daily is and where we're gonna bounce. Because if we're going to retest here the 200 daily moving average, this would indicate that we are very strong and we will see a potential big bounce from it to the upside. Also shake out some weak hands on the way down. And uh, at the same time, we're gonna fill up here the CME gap that was created and potentially also cool off here a bit all the indicators. And now let's switch over into the weekly quickly because also here you can see that the RSI is looking a bit toppy. I didn't get here a sell signal yet so we still have some room left to the upside even though also here it looks a bit toppy in my opinion. So retest down here towards the 20 weekly at 9,800 possibly even down towards the 200 daily at $9,000 is still very likely. And if we have also a look here into the Bollinger Band, you can see that after getting rejected up here, uh, we most likely will see a potential correction down to these two moving averages here. So between $10,300 and $9,400. This is at least my target in case that we're gonna have a major correction. And this range here between $10,000 and $9,000 is where I'm gonna have my buy orders where I'm also gonna scale into some altcoins as well. I still have my altcoin portfolio, but of course I plan to buy some more band link and some DeFi projects as well. So that's why I'm still waiting for a bigger correction so I can scale in a bit more into alts because currently I have over 90% on Bitcoin. I mean, it will not change, but some fiat that I have put it into my Coinbase and Binance account, I will buy also some of these DeFi projects because I think for the next big parabolic run, mostly all of these altcoins will also have a big run as well. And maybe some of them will even outperform 
Bitcoin. So you will be able to take even more profits into Bitcoin and multiply your Bitcoin also trading with altcoins, not only with going long and short on Bybit or Femex, for example, where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, but also if you do some swing trades over on Binance, you can also multiply your Bitcoin as well. And if you need an account over on Binance, if you use my link that you find down below here in the video description, you will get 10% off the fees when you buy or sell cryptos and also if you need an account on Bybit, Femex or Bityard where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage. If you use the links down below here you support the channel and also you will get some rewards and bonus. And make sure also if you're taking out profits in Tether to trade it here on Bityard because here you can trade all the coins with your Tether without even own these coins. And right now here you can also trade derivatives. So if you're interested to trade gold for example or oil here easily with Tether you can trade this as well without KYC nothing. Just register with the link that you find down below here for Bityard and you can immediately start to trade everything you want. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. The subscription video is popping up at the end of this video. Moon up the likes here, subscribe to the channel and also make sure to tune in in our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.